brothers, sisters, body of Christ, believers. We are seeing a lot of various stuff occurring in the land. We see a lot of things happening. We see the on uprising of social injustice. No matter what side of the party or group you are a part of. The stuff is happening all around us. No matter if you're Baptist, no matter if you are Pentecostal, Lutheran, it's a lot of stuff that's happening. And if you're not anchored in God and truly have a relationship with Him, being about His business, that other stuff is really not as important. The scripture tells us, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We got a commandment, and that commandment is what? Seek. And in order to seek something, it requires for you to what? Take a step. And if you take a step, it requires action. Helping somebody. We know that the that the fervent, effectual prayers of the righteous avail of much. What happens while we are praying? And what happens after we are praying? Some of us and I have been very guilty of this. We've sat down and just looked at various things that's happened. Things like the issues that we see with the unhoused, with the with the homeless uh, community. We see those type of things that are plaguing the communities. We're seeing some individuals of certain populations getting some assistance and not all parties receiving the same type of assistance. seeing various things that's happening with how those at the border are being mistreated. We have even seen in the nation's capital the natives who are pushed out of tent city who were getting locked up because of being unhoused, because of not getting the proper assistance. Even around the DMV region, DC, Maryland, and Virginia, we're seeing gun violence at an all-time high.
even through this pandemic, it took off the blinders of the real reality of food deserts. But even though I just have been rambling for about over five minutes already, with everything that has just been mentioned, it's still one thing that comes to mind. And that one thing that comes to mind change starts with me. Though these issues are transpiring and happening, it starts with me. It starts with me. The chain starts with me. Brothers and sisters, the chain starts with us. It starts with us. It starts with us manifesting the love of Christ. And I'm not just talking about as a cliche. I mean, a love that surpasses all understanding. A, a, a love that you would be willing to labor with your brother and labor with your sister. To rejoice with them while they rejoice. To mourn with them when they are in mourning, providing comfort. Providing edification, providing prayer. Do you do you do you do do, do you really understand the call and the duty, the assignment that you and I have in the earth? Some of us don't like what's going on, but the first thing that we all need to do is look in the mirror. Man in the mirror. God, I don't like what I am seeing. Sometimes you gotta just get really real with it. God, I don't know why I have this anger that's on the inside of me. I don't even know why I am such a spiteful individual. I don't know why or what's troubling in my spirit for me to be negative. I know this doesn't represent you, but I need some help. I need some strength. I need some understanding. I need understanding why I judge my brother and sister based on their clothes. I need to understand why I actually hate my brother. I need to understand why is it that I'm so obsessed and indulged in materialism? Why, 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 why is it that I'm so invested in things and I'm not truly invested in you? What, 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 what's going on with my attitude? Why does my attitude stink? Well, why, why is it that I, when people get around me, I'm just so negative. I'm just so, uh, I'm just so agnostic. This don't, this don't represent you, God. Why? Why am I this way? See, brothers and sisters, th 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 this is the kind of real reality, the self-examination that you and I need to be doing on a consistent basis. Th 
We we need to do an examination and kind of go back and trace some things down to the very root. We got to get to the root of a thing. Yes, it's great to hold community leaders responsible. It's great to hold the powers that be to be accountable. It's even another, it's even another awesome thing when we hold ourselves accountable. When we get out of place, out of a place from being religious and start being kingdom-minded and kingdom-driven, when we start moving from a place to a kingdom mindset, a, a, a kingdom mindset says, if I see my brother or sister in need, I'm not going to ask them if they're Republican. I'm not going to ask them if they're Democrat. I'm not going to ask them what their nationality or what their origin is in order for me to treat them as the human being that God has called them to be. Because kingdom minded don't look at those things. A kingdom-minded person says, let's pray. A kingdom-minded will see a father or see a mother that, that, that may be going through a hard time. A kingdom-minded will say, hey, brother, sister, hey, let me take, let me take your, let me take, take the load off you a little bit, brother. Let me take the load off you, sister. Let me take the kids down to, to go get a, a bite to eat. Let me take them to go get a slurpee. Let, let me take them, let me take them down to the park. Let me, let me, let me take them down to go feed the ducks. Let, let, let me, let me, let me relieve some of this burden off of you. Because when you truly love your brother and sister, you, you're willing to sacrifice, you're willing to avail, you're willing to display the love of God. We won't get into these antics and ask, what denomination are you? Where do you work at? No, we don't, we, we, we don't get into those type of particulars when you're a kingdom-minded person. When you're a kingdom-minded person, you stand in the gap ready to bring healing. You stand in the gap ready to bring restoration. You stand in the gap to bring hope. You stand in the gap to restore peace. You, st you, 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 you stand in the gap to bring ordinance. You, you, you shift. Kingdom-minded people, they shift their way of thinking and they put themselves in a posture of reconciliation. They don't make no excuses. They're not pompous in their way of thinking. Change starts with me. It's me. God wants us to utilize the power that he has bestowed on the inside of us. And some of us have put, and we're not manifesting and walking in the power of God because we're so busy looking for someone else to do what God has already called us to do. When you see an issue that's going on in the community, why won't you take charge and you take possession? And you decree and declare the word of God. You begin to pray over your community. You begin to pray over the young men. You begin to pray over the young women. You begin to walk your block. You begin to take charge of your, uh, 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 of your community. 
You begin to call on the, the heavenly host. You begin to allow the power of God to move upon you to decree, to uproot, to bind, to rebuke, to curse the enemy. Greater is he that is within thee than he that is in the world. You take the love of God that has healed you, that has restored you, and you begin to display and manifest the love of God. We're without excuses. We've got to stop procrastinating. We've got to get rid of our thinking. Our stinking thinking. Because a lot of us have stinking thinking. We, 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 we don't understand the, 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 the things that is influencing our mind, that is stopping us from being the bold kingdom people that God has called us to be. He's called us to be the kingdom change agents in the earth. He's given us the ability to tread upon scorpions. He's given us the ability. We are without excuse. It's time to get up. It's time to move. It's the time to declare heaven on earth. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. I know it's a lot of other parts that I have skipped and missed. But ladies and gentlemen, it's time. The change starts with us. You don't need a degree to display the love of God. You don't need a certification to display the love of God. You don't need a degree to pray. You don't need a degree to, 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 to pray the scriptures. You don't need a certification. It's time for us to ignite, to spread that love of God. The change starts with me. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Y'all go out and make it a great day. Make it a great week. God has called you for a time such as this. God has called you to take over. Because this is the season of kingdom takeover. And God doesn't need the perfect vessels. He just needs the willing vessels. Peace and blessings. Please, everyone, if you can keep us in prayers, if you would love to be a part of the back to school drive where we're going to be giving over 500 backpacks and school supplies to the community. We can't do this uh, on our own, 
So we're just asking for your prayers, your support. Uh, keep us lifted as we continue to meet the needs of the people.